notes for magical works. Refer to part two for the cleansing candles, consecrations, and changing materials. Charging materials. The working candle may be a votive small pillar, small, votive small pillar or taper candle. I do not recommend tapers or bottle candles for spell candles, but if bottle candles are used for working or spell candles, draw the images of the, on the glass with a marker. When drawing a mandala, a double ring circle, leave space in the center of the circle for symbols and space between the rings for writing or, or symbols. For carving symbols on candles, mandalas and meditations, the bold print in the text shows the words that are spoken as, as the image images are drawn. A votive spell candle should have an appropriate container, such as a cauldron that can hold melted wax and burning herbs. Without breaking or damaging the pentacle, have, have a cover or lid to smolder the flame. Use a candle snuffer to extinguish the working candle and altar candles, but if blown out, say, with the breath of life. For activities, making an incense or powder, the, the herbs may, may be ground prior to the ritual, and blend during the activity. Use glass, china or pottery bowls and bottles to prepare and store herbal tea and oil blends. Label the stored bottles. Loose black tea leaves normally form the base of herbal tea blends. Green tea leaves have a cleansing energy whereas as the black is associated with strength and power. Thank you for another reading. Blessed be.